hey welcome back to my channel so today i am going to give some advice or give my opinion on some questions here on a particular question that was asked in one of the groups that i am in so um i'll read what the person um wrote about and then i'll give my opinion on it and then you can contribute and give your opinion in the comments so it says hello all i need help please to determine whether or not i should divorce my wife here's what happened we got married 10 years ago as single parents i had a nine-year-old son she had a six-year-old daughter we wanted our own child together soon after we had a son Five years ago, we were finally in a good place financially. We paid off both cars, all the credit cards, loans, had enough to put down in a house, plus enough to actually start a savings account. It was then she decided we should have another child. I tried reasoning with her, told her we've been drowning for a while. We just started swimming. Our head is barely above water. It wasn't a good idea for us to add more to our plates. <sighs> then needed, wait, add more to our plates than needed at the moment, etc. She wouldn't budge. She wanted me to have my own daughter. I told her I consider my stepdaughter my daughter. I'm good. She asked, don't I want a daughter I can spend all holidays and summers with? I told her, not really. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if someone wanted to take both my sons for summer, spring, and winter breaks, plus all holidays, not just alternate alternates, I'll be all in. I wish my son's, son's mom wasn't a deadbeat addict. She was active in his life like her daughter's father is. After two years of nagging, I gave in. We had twin boys. As you can imagine, our life took a turn for the worse. First, she had a complicated pregnancy because we were in our late 30s, causing her not being able to work. Hmm. Then there's the late night crying, fussing. Her daughter used to be fine with getting her little brother to school, then herself to school since middle school started so late. My son would be home when he arrives from school. Then when his sis comes home, he would then go to work or his after school activities. My son now had to skip Get few after school activities and or be late to work because two crime babies plus a hard headed toddler was too much for her. In addition, stepdaughter now had to wake up earlier to get the twins ready for daycare. Wife had to work 10 hour shifts. She went to work normally leaving everyone else to figure out turmoil with kids and he put in capital letters only she wanted. Add COVID in the mix of all that. Yippee! I was fine with my son dropping me off, dropping me at work, then taking my car to school. Now we couldn't do that anymore because I had to take the twins to daycare plus work another job to keep us afloat. Friends and buses are how he was getting to school and work. I'll then pick him up on the way home. My son is now a high school grad. He decided to go to the local community college his first two years to help out. My stepdaughter's father bought her a car so she's able to get around and help. Just when things are starting to get better for everyone, my wife has decided we should have another child again with the, with the line, she wants me to have my own daughter. I really don't have the time and energy to fight her on this. Now that I'm in my late 40s, I really don't want to be waking up to diaper duties and driving kids to daycare. My son and stepdaughter were wonderful older siblings. I honestly wouldn't have made it out sane without them. How do you guys propose I handle this? I really don't want to disturb their lives again for my wife's selfish reason or mine for that matter. So what it sounds like to me is the wife has a, has a struggle mentality. Um, seems like she likes to struggle and when things are going well that signals something in her brain that something isn't right so now she wants to have another child so things can be back in turmoil and you guys can struggle financially again and everything will be all right 
in her head. And also, she wants, she wants, it sounds like she wants to be the first woman to give you a daughter. Like, because y'all had sons together. You already had a son and she has a daughter. So she wants to be the first woman to give you a girl. So that makes sense. But what I would advise is if you do not want to have another child, put your foot down and tell her, I am not having another baby. We cannot afford another baby right now. We're just starting to get back afloat. It is not fair for you to try to disrupt our lives and our children's lives. It's not fair for the child. And I don't want to be in debt all my life and I don't want to struggle all my life. So no, I am not going to have another baby. We do not need another child right now. And if she still wants you to have your own daughter and she's not listening and understanding of your needs and wants, which she should be. You guys are in a marriage. Um, if she don't want to listen, I say go ahead and get snipped. And if she has a problem with it, then you may just have to go. <laughs> oh, this sounds horrible. You may just have to go secretly get snipped in because it seems like there's no no reasoning with her. Like y'all was fine the first time, y'all paid off all the debts and she wanted to add more um, more hardship to the equation. That, that doesn't make sense, which leads me to believe she has a, a struggle mentality. Like she feels comfortable in that survival mode and anything outside of that is is a shock to her to her subconscious and she wants it to go back to the way it was so that would be my advice for you is to get snipped or talk to her about what you want stand on it do not give in if you don't want it you don't want it and you guys can't afford it right now so um yeah that would be my advice if you guys have any advice for this person let them know in the comments what would you do in this situation would you accommodate the wife would you disrupt everybody else's wife life for her selfish needs would you sneak off and get snipped um uh he wants to know if he should divorce her um i would say if it can be worked out, then you guys shouldn't shouldn't get a divorce. But again, that's something that you need to discuss with her. We are not in your marriage, so I would not advise you to get a divorce. I would advise you to speak to your wife about that and let her know that you are considering a divorce because of her selfish ways. And maybe you guys can go and try family therapy or marriage therapy so you guys can get to the root problem of why she wants to struggle and be in survival mode instead of being in peace and going with the flow that's my advice have a great day peace